I'm enthusiastic about online teaching because I think uh, because of the potential that I've seen and I'll be honest with you when I first started thinking about online teaching I was a, a little nervous and a little hesitant I was worried about uh, the loss of potential um, having taught only in traditional face-to-face um, -face classroom situations before um, my focus was sort of on what am I losing um, and what I've really seen and what I've started to really understand is that there's a lot that's gained too in, in teaching online and a lot of it has to do with practicalities in terms of flexibility for students primarily, flexibility for instructors somewhat, but flexibility for students has been really powerful, especially um, at a place like Purchase where, I mean, most students have the demands of other coursework, jobs, families, all the things you know that life that life is throwing at them. But at Purchase, we also have um, a lot of arts-oriented students. We have our conservatories, so we have students um, who have rehearsal and performance schedules who um, require a lot of studio time. And so for them, the, abil the ability to sort of work online when they can and sort of have that flexibility has been really powerful. And I've heard that from students over and over again. The flexibility of online system is just amazing because nowadays the students, they are not just traditional students. They are coming from different backgrounds. They are, some of the students, they, they have to work. They are not just a student that come to school. Time is the problem in the in-class room, in the in-class settings. So that's why I kind of enjoying an online because not, time is not a problem anymore. So I probably would back up and say that one of the things I love about teaching online is I was a student online. Um, I did my master's degree in online um, education and learning strategies. And in getting my master's in education uh, from an online platform, uh, I realized how much I can give back to my students. Um, from the experiences I had as a student. I think online learning makes me a better teacher just because the way I have to think about my course in a big picture uh, and also I have to organize my course and materials in a way that it's very clear to the students and easy for the students to navigate. I find that students really like to gravitate where they can show their best skills and some students really accelerate and perform better in the online environment. It gives them time to review the course materials in a thoughtful way. And when we have an online discussion, they get to research and prepare their response. Um, and especially if they're hesitant about speaking up in class, I really see developed progression through the online system with students um, that really gravitate to that. There's something about um, being in an online environment that can be really uh, freeing for uh, some students. And there are students who've said to me that, you know, they said, frankly, I'm not always, in, I don't contribute in a classroom situation all the time. I'm, you know, I need more time to develop my thoughts. I'm more comfortable um, digesting information rather than, you know, the quick rapid fire of a classroom conversation can be very exciting and very dynamic. But it's, it's a different dynamic online. It's still a dynamic. And um, seeing how student, student interaction works online, um, as well, of course, as, you know, student-teacher interaction, but student, student interaction online, I think, has been really exciting to see. I also saw more and more students, as we were talking about, sort of living important parts of their lives online. And it seems like, why wouldn't your academic work and your college experience be part of that too? Um, because this is not, those things don't necessarily have to be separate. I'm enthusiastic about online teaching for so many reasons. I feel like it's an opportunity to reach students who for whatever reason are not able to get to a campus or who would find it difficult to complete a degree only on a campus. I think also, and I've had experiences with students who have figured out for themselves that they learn better in an online setting. I can think of one student in particular who did very poorly on campus in the classroom setting. He wasn't able to focus with so many people around him. He wasn't able to uh, complete the assignments in ways that felt for him like he was being successful. And so he started over again and did all online and all through the SUNY system and mostly at Columbia Green and has been enormously successful, uh, you know, a student. 
And so that for me is uh, a lovely reminder. He's been in three of my classes and he's been incredibly successful and he has thanked me for helping him to um, have that level of success by creating classes that are accessible, that are challenging, but not so challenging that he um, isn't able to complete the work. And to clarify that, I feel like I, I require a lot of my students. Um, they're certainly not easy classes. Um, but in the setup of those courses to create something that students can navigate easily, that they understand what's expected of them and when it's expected of them. To create that setting for a student, I think it teaches them time management skills. It teaches them critical thinking that um, they may also get in the classroom, but to engage other students in a discussion board, for instance, or to, uh, to write a paper or to do work that I've outlined the guidelines and then just said, go for it. Let's see what you can do they work a little bit harder and they'll still ask questions, but to see the response to that for me is really exciting. Um, so I guess my passion kind of comes out of that, seeing the potential for what students can do without me holding their hand in the classroom.